Bob and weave. We've all heard the terminology bob and weave. So let's get into the next level of footwork, which is going to show you how to whew, whew, bob and weave. Let's get into it. Before we get into bobbing and weaving, make sure that you take a look at this video, how to actually get your footwork moving and started so you can get nice and warmed up and figure out how to stay on your toes before we get into this movement because bobbing and weaving does require a lot of foot shifting and staying on the balls of your feet. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing to take note of is I am orthodox, so that means I'm right-handed, which means I'm going to be standing with my right hand and my right foot back, lead with my left. So. I'm going to use this apparatus right here, which is my rope that I have in my gym, to make sure that I'm accurate with my bobbing and weaving process. As you see, I had to switch the camera up because this height matches my height a little better than the other end that's a bit shorter, and I wish I had a different color rope that you could see clearly. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is start in our boxing stance. If you notice, I'm closer to the rope, making sure that my shoulder can actually touch the rope, because what I'm going to do when I bob to the other side of the rope is make sure that my opposite shoulder actually is able to touch the rope. So let's focus on the footwork first. The footwork for a bob and weave. If I'm in my boxing stance right here, what I'm going to do is step forward and over with my left foot and make my right foot follow. So if I bob, I'm here. That's where you stop on the bob. Make sure that you're off of that parking brake that I told you about in the other video and that you're up on your toe. So I've traveled forward at an angle with the left and the right step. So when I weave, I'm headed back towards you all with a right and left step. Notice I did not put the parking brake on the front foot. That's very important. So I stepped over right left. Once again, I'm going to travel forward at an angle, 45 degree angle on my bob. And then I'm going to right left travel on the weave here. So it's bob, weave, bob, weave. So next what's going to happen is I'm going to make my upper body make a U as I'm taking my bob step at that 45 degree angle with the left and right step and then U backwards when I take my right and left step over with my weave. And it looks like such. I'm in my orthodox guard. I take my left and right step, boom. And I've made the first part of a U. And then when I take my right left step with my weave, I've got the opposite side of the U. So here we go forward, left, right. That's Bob, right, left. That's weave. So it looks like such. Notice I'm not tilting forward. I'm not bringing my head, bringing my meal to the opponent. What I'm doing is keeping my head center in between my legs, which I'll show shortly, here and here. So that's bob, weave, bob, weave. Another important aspect is the shoulder shift that has to take place. So we started with the feet, then we started with the torso. Now we're gonna start with the shoulders. So when I bob here, Notice my right shoulder is now in front of my left shoulder and I'm defending right here on the right side because now my opponent is on this side. So I've bobbed into my opponent here and I start to defend to make sure that my right shoulder is forward. And when I weave, my right shoulder comes back and I slightly defend right here with my knuckles on my eyebrow. Once again, I travel forward. My right shoulder comes forward right here. Once I travel back over with my weave, my right shoulder comes back and boom, I've got a little bit of defense here because now my opponent is on the opposite side, which I'll show on these ropes in just a minute. Okay, so let's start throwing it all together. If you're using the apparatus like I am, such as this rope, the objective is to make sure that your shoulder is always in line with this rope, no matter which shoulder it is. So when I bob, my right shoulder is gonna stay in line with this rope. When I weave, my left shoulder is gonna stay in line with this rope to make sure that my U isn't too big. And I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay, so from an orthodox stance, my right foot back and my right hand back, I'm gonna get in my boxing guard and make the first U with my bob, which is here. You see that? How my right shoulder is now in line with this rope. 
my right shoulder's forward, and it's defending right here because now my opponent is on this side of me, okay? So now when I weave back to the opposite side, my left shoulder is now in line with the rope, and I'm defending on this side with my left hand because my opponent is right here. Once again, when I bob, defend, weave, defend, bob, defend, weave, bob, weave, bob, weave. Another important aspect to the footwork is to make sure that each bob and weave has two steps. So you'll go over, bob, two, weave, two, bob, two, weave, two, bob, two, weave, two. Let's take a closer look at the footwork on those two steps. Bob, two, weave, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Each step has two. Once you become a bit more fluid with it, if you went back and watched the other video that I'm putting up here once again for you, what you can do is start throwing your rhythm step, boom, and staying light on your feet and start bobbing and weaving with your rhythm step. Bob, weave, boom. Rhythm step, one, two. Keeping your shoulders in line, making sure that you're defending where your opponent is. That rope is your opponent. Boom. You can actually stay on that side. Boom. Chop the bob and weave in half. Bob, boom, you might not even want to weave right now. You just might want to weave later. Rhythm step, right there. I'll say it again. That's why you guys need to make sure that you jump rope so you can stay light on those feet. Boom, bob, weave. You can make sure that you can maneuver. Boom, rhythm step. Make sure you stay light on those toes. It's all about the footwork, and it's all about how light you can stay on your toes when you're doing footwork. And then you can do more advanced things, bobbing, spinning, turning, boom. Only if you're light on those feet. Jump that rope, go back to that video, and then you'll be able to do things as to where you're maneuvering light on those feet, rhythm step, bob, weave. And that, in a nutshell, is how you bob and weave. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want some more content as far as how to do certain things or boxing instruction, I don't care if it's footwork, I don't care if it's defense, I don't care if it's punch combinations, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and put it in the comments what type of video you want to see as far as boxing instruction goes. I got you. All right, cool. I'll see y'all next video.